So today we're talking about investments and I got a couple in the mail today. So I'll open them up and show off who I got. And I already cut them open to make it easy on myself. Trey Young, 2018-19 Panini Revolution. So Trey is one of my favorite basketball prospects. He's not really even a prospect anymore. I mean, he was an all-star this year. Um, but one of my favorite investment pieces, this is a Gem Mint 9.5. I really like BGS too, um, and PSA for your investments. I personally do not like any of the other slabs. The other card here, oh, before I get into that, let me show you something. This is a Trey Young Panini Prism PSA 10, Luka Doncic Panini Prism PSA 9. Both of these cards go for the same price, right around $200. Even though this is a 10, this is a nine. I get it that Luka Doncic you know, has tons of triple doubles. He plays for a good team as well, um, playoff contenders. Trey Young plays for a terrible team, doesn't have triple doubles, but the guy still scores 30 plus points a game. He has almost 10 assists a game as well. So the guy's a walking double double and he's super young. If he were to ever get on a good team, on a winning franchise, and make the playoffs, have a deep run, this card is gonna skyrocket, skyrocket in prices. And to show you something else, I have a PSA 10 base Luca right here. This goes for over $500 as a 10. This card, like I said, $200. So this is a $300 difference. And they score the same amount of points. I mean, triple doubles is a huge thing. Trey Young is not going to nearly get as many triple doubles as Luka with the rebounding issue of Trey. But if Trey Young continues to shoot like Steph does, he's electric. Expect this card to rise really quick, especially if the Hawks ever get really good or, which is, come on, bound to happen. Once Trey Young is going to have a 15 year career, it's going to happen eventually. Or he gets traded to a winning franchise. It's a really good investment right here, Trey Young. Next investment piece I picked up, baseball, not basketball. And it's going to be Juan Soto, Topps Update Rookie Card. This one was in really nice condition too. That's partly why I picked it up. Might get it graded. So with Juan Soto, all you have to know is that he has a career 403 on base percentage. That's all you have to know. He's the next Ted Williams. This guy is going to continue to skyrocket in card prices. It already has. This card has over doubled since the last month. So I've already made pretty decent money on this. Um, but Juan Soto, 34 home runs last year. Um, he had almost five wins above replacement. And in his second season, um, he, he's not going anywhere. So to Juan Soto is a really, really good investment. Hop on that right now. Um, but to show you how to find investments before they start skyrocketing like Juan Soto did his rookie season. I will show you Fangraphs, one of my favorite websites. So I'll show you that right now. Fangraphs and show you how I like to find prospects I'm not familiar with and prospects I think will do well at the major league level and even just make it to the MLB level. Sometimes the lower end prospects, they don't ever make it past double A past triple a but if you find somebody who was a lower round draft pick and buy into their cards as early as possible and they make the mlb level even if they do average at the mlb level their cards will shoot up in prices 2x 3x sometimes 10x so how i do that is i go to prospects i go to the board this shows a many uh well more than 100 of the top prospects going on right now. So as you scroll down, you can see some of the big names. Wander Franco, obviously the number one prospect. Gavin Lux, Mackenzie Gore on the Padres. Um, Adley Rushman, he was the number one prospect from this last draft. So these are all the big names that you've already seen before. You've definitely heard about them if you're a baseball fan. And their cards are at a premium right now, even though they haven't hit the MLB level yet. So as you keep scrolling down, you'll start to eventually find names you're not familiar with. Those are the guys you want to invest in 
to see the 3, 4x, 5x types of profit. One of my favorite ways to do this though is to go to prospects, find a team that you're not super familiar with. That For me, that was the Rockies. I recently purchased a prospect card from the Rockies and you can scroll down and see the Rockies top prospects. This is just the prospects on the Rockies. I recently purchased a Terran Vavra card. It was a Bowman Chrome Auto and it was really, really inexpensive. If Terran Vavra ever makes the MLB, I easily just tripled my money just because people finally know about them and they want to purchase a product right when he puts on a Rockies uniform and heads out on the field. Especially people who are Rockies fans, those types of collectors. One of the best ways you can see when a player is going to make the MLB level or the estimated time of arrival is going right here at this ETA. So if you look at Taron Vavra right here, and he's only in single A right now, and he's 22 and a half years old. So if you go to the ETA, his expected time for him to reach the MLB level is 2021. So that's not for a whole nother season. So this is, it would be a perfect time to get in on Taron Vavra and wait a year. If he makes the MLB level, He's, his cards are going to increase in price for sure. Now, I'm not saying to spend thousands of dollars on guys like Taron Vavra here, because there's a small chance that he won't even make the MLB level. He's still really young. He was in single A. But what I am saying is if you wanted to try to make those 3, 4, 5x types of investments, then doing this system, going on fan graphs, finding somebody you're not familiar with, seeing when he's estimated to make the MLB level, because right when he makes it, his cards shoot up. That is a, this is a great resource on how to do that. Find your player that you want to potentially invest in. So head on over to eBay, and the type of card with prospects that you are going to want to get specifically is the first Bowman Chrome of that player. That's the card that's going to rise significantly in prices throughout your investment. There's a paper version of this that's not chrome. You want to stay away from that one. It's the first Bowman chrome, specifically chrome, and then the auto. So the autograph, it's not necessary. It's going to cost you probably a little bit more in the short term for your investment, but over the long run, if your player does well, it's going to heavily increase your profits. So I personally always go for their first Bowman Chrome autograph. In Vavra's example, I typed in 2019 Bowman Chrome Terran Vavra Auto. And I purchased this card for about, about a month ago um, for $7. So if you go to the far left over here and scroll down, um, you can find like this one right here. So I bought this card for $7, including shipping and taxes and everything. So, and this one has six days left, so it's new listing. Nobody's been on it just yet, but if you wanna see what they've been recently selling for, go down here to sold items. And I have the base version. So let's find a base version I can compare it to. So this one right here, thirteen fifty plus four dollars shipping. So that's seventeen fifty uh, minus my seven dollar investment. I made ten dollars already, and it's only been a month. This one was eleven ninety nine. It's a little bit less. I keep scrolling down, twelve fifty. This one was only ten. This whoever got this card really really did a good job. But you can tell that a lot of these cards, like twelve fifty, like I said, eleven ninety nine, thirteen fifty, has already gone up in price, and he still hasn't made the MLB level. The player that you choose to invest in, and don't just invest in one player. You know, spread out your investment, spread out your portfolio, just in case Vavra does not make the MLB. And your next investment, your next prospect that you choose, hopefully would. So that could balance it out. But these are the cards you're going to want to get the first bowman chrome autograph so if you get one of those on a player that turns out to be the next beau bichette 
the next, uh, you know, who, whoever just does really well on his young, Juan Soto, those types of cards, you're going to make lots of money. So that is how you would go about purchasing one of those cards. So thanks for watching. If you end up wanting to join our giveaway, which, which is going on right now, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube and our giveaway is over $500 in total value. It's, um, or I have a video posted on it already, so check that one out. But this is our website, suncitysportscards.com. We're celebrating opening up that. And thank you guys for supporting us. Really appreciate it.